Scatter graphs are used to compare two sets of data. If you've collected a large set of data um, and you're wanting to compare, for example, uh, height against shoe size, then a scatter graph would be a perfect way to compare that set, that set of data to determine whether there is any connection or, as we refer to it, correlation. Is there any correlation between a person's height and their shoe size? Okay, And what you're really looking out for is a linear relationship between the two things. So how close to a straight line, for example, well, this is what I effectively mean, how close to a straight line does the data come? Okay, So, for example, the data may look something like this. Okay. And we plot the data along two axes, okay? And the data might be plotted out like this. And what we can see is that actually the data looks like it's tending towards a straight line, okay? And we'd be able to draw what is referred to as a line of best fit, okay? So we could call that the line of best fit. Now, when drawing a line of best fit, usually what you try and do is you try to make sure that it goes through as many of the points as possible. And in general, you also try to make sure that it's got the same number of points either side. Now, I kind of uh, cheated there. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Okay, so let's say I've got another couple on this side, okay, just to even it up. And that would be a line of best fit. And from that, you could use it to say, well, if someone has a particular height, what would their shoe size be? OK? And the fact that you're looking into the data, into where the data is, we call that interpolation. So that is a process known as interpolation. If, however, you're looking at data that is beyond where you've recorded any data, okay, if you're looking outside of that data set that you recorded, that's known as extrapolation. And in general, interpolation can, is, can be trusted, but extrapolation can't. Okay? Um, because it's outside of the set of data, you're, you can't be sure that it is correct in any way. So scatter graphs have these different sets of correlation. And this is an example because it's going in the positive direction. As one increases, the other is increasing. This is positive correlation. Now, because you can have positive correlation, you can also have negative correlation. Okay, So negative correlation would be going in this direction. Okay, Still going in a relatively straight line. But if it's not going in a straight line, okay, um, then you might potentially have something that looks like this. Now, the data's not all over the place. It's looking like it's tending towards a curve, OK? That doesn't mean that there's no correlation, but it is a more complicated situation that uh, you would have to look more deeply into. But you can have no correlation, where clearly there is nothing relating the two sets of data. So, for example, you might plot IQ against house number. And clearly, it doesn't matter where you live along a road that would change your IQ. Okay? So the higher the house number, that doesn't mean the higher your IQ, or vice versa. So positive correlation 
a negative correlation, no correlation. These are the three situations that you can meet, and they relate to different situations. Okay, so the taller somebody is, the larger their shoe size, for example. Okay, uh, the more rain we have, the fewer ice cream sales we have. And as I said, the, there is no correlation between something like IQ and house number. And so this is kind of a very general look at scatter graphs.